Greetings, folks. Let's start this month's Getting Around with a confession. Uh, if you were looking for my program last month in September, you couldn't find it because, quite frankly, I didn't have one. I was spending too much time, I guess, having fun and screwing off and never got around to it. I did have the list prepared several times, but I never got out on doing the recording. So in short, let's get on with it uh, since it's a month later and uh, do a couple things coming up. In fact, uh, personally, I'm going to be uh, run, helping run brackets uh, the next three weekends and three different uh, tournaments in three different states. So let's take a look at what is going on. This coming weekend, which is to say the 2nd of November, uh, the East Ohio folks are having their Arnold qualifier, uh, which will take place in Lisbon, Ohio, fairly close to East Liverpool, you know, close by the Pennsylvania state line. And that will have the usual classes uh, that uh, we've been doing for the various groups that have been doing for the Arnold qualifier, which is to say the standard uh, 154, 176, 198, and so forth, but adding a class at 275. Uh, so the supers will not start to, to, until 276 plus. Uh, if you go looking for that on Facebook, you'll actually find it listed as Kiwanis Fundraiser 3, which is uh, basically what it's doing. They're, they're raising money for the local Kiwanis as well as uh, real running the qualifier itself. Uh, this one is, has no clothing allowance, which I should uh, warn you. Uh, well, you got nine tenths of a you know, pound, basically. So, if, if, for example, you uh, want to be in the 176, you have to squeeze in at or below 176.9. Uh, and uh, so they will have the, uh, yeah, besides the men's classes, uh, women's classes, uh, two of them splitting at 154, uh, masters two classes splitting at 200. And the cost for that is uh, basically it's 30 bucks for the uh, Kiwanis Fundraiser 3 in uh, Lisbon, uh, Ohio, on the 2nd of November. Uh, the week after that, there are two things going on that I know of in the Northeast. I will very graciously start with one that I'm not going to, uh, which is the Virginia Arm Wrestling League Chaos, which is another Arnold, fun, uh, an Ar Arnold qualifier. So again, they have the uh, usual Arnold qualifier classes, including the uh, 275. Uh, that will be in Mechanicsville, Virginia, suburban Richmond, where they've been holding a lot of their uh, events lately. And uh, we'll uh, take place, uh, let's see, men's, uh, what do we have there? Uh, men's classes, uh, you know, let's see, 30 bucks, women's uh, are free. And uh, essentially, um, that's basically oh, also masters as well. Uh, the women's classes and the masters classes, uh, masters in this case being above age 50, uh, will be, uh, the weights will be determined by, uh, you know, number of people that, uh, number of people show up in both of those. Uh, the same weekend, that is to say the 9th November, uh, I will be helping run uh, the very 98's very own uh, domestic disturbance uh, in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, or suburbs of Philadelphia. Uh, this is the same place where we held our uh, last tournament, really nice uh, place, you know, up on the stage and so forth. And that will, as I say, take place on the 9th with the standard weight classes, uh, the 154, 176, and so forth. Uh, what we're going to, that's for the men's classes, both amateur and pro. What we are going to try to do, or what we're actually going to do, I should say, with the women, we hope it works out, because we hope we have enough people showing up, is to add several classes. Uh, we have found that uh, some women have said to us, hey, you know, when you only have you know, open or you only have one class, uh, you know, I end up pulling, you know, somebody that's considerably heavier than myself, and they stay away. Uh, so what we are going to uh, do for that, and hope we have enough women show up that'll make it work, is have four classes, uh, with the first class going up to 135, uh, second class 154, third class to uh, 176, and the heaviest uh, 177 and up. Uh, we're also going to try to add some uh, several classes. We're going to add several classes. We're going to try. We're going to do it. Uh, for masters, we just hope we get enough folks showing up, uh, specifically 185, 220, and 221 plus, uh, and also a uh, grandmasters class uh, with two classes uh, splitting at 200. Uh, a lot of times we uh, seem to get more folks out for masters than we do for women. So uh, with luck, we'll be able to have multiple classes on both of uh, those. And uh, let's see, cost for that. Uh, let's see, men thirty bucks, women twenty bucks, 
uh, kids, which is to say up to age 17. I know probably a 17-year-old doesn't want to call it, be called a kid, but hey, you as well take it because you're getting your class for free. And so, as I say, that will be at the Broken Goblet in Ben Salem on the 9th of November. Week after that will be a Test Your Frame, uh, the Test Your Frame tournament, uh, which is one of uh, Steve Fernandez's events that is taking place in Fishkill, New York, uh, which is in the Poughkeepsie area, the Hudson Valley. And uh, there we'll have the usual weight classes up to uh, with the Super starting at 243 uh, for men. Uh, cost for that is uh, for the uh, the men, uh, the first two classes pro, 40 bucks. Uh, second, uh, first two classes amateur, uh, 30 bucks. Uh, and additional classes are $20 each. Uh, women get a real bargain there at uh, at 20 bucks. What they will be doing there, they are going to have some super matches at that one as well. Uh, in addition to the tournament, I'm uh, really not sure how many, to be honest with you, but they will have the super matches in the tournament, which will have some cash payouts, including 100 bucks for the uh, first pl first place winners. And so that is uh, going to be in, as I say, Fishkill, New York on the 16th of November. Uh, the week after that, which uh, Saturday will be the 23rd, I don't know of anything going on on the 23rd itself. However, uh, several days later, on Wednesday the 27th, there is a Supermatch event, uh, specifically the Battle at D-Bubs Supermatch Series taking place in Farmingdale, New York, which is out on Long Island. Uh, that is, uh, as I say, Wednesday evening, which is to say the night before the evening before Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make that one because, uh, to be honest with you, uh, getting there from here, I'm uh, in eastern Pennsylvania, can be uh, questionable enough getting around the city uh, under normal traffic. And I'm only imagining uh, what traffic might be like around uh, you know, the glorious George Washington Bridge on the evening of the uh, before Thanksgiving. Uh, however, if, uh, it does look like a really good event. And so if you are already on the other side of the George Washington Bridge, or quite frankly, if you have more tolerance for New York City traffic than I do, uh, you might want to get out to that. That is uh, at a uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, we've sometimes done uh, tournaments at Buffalo Wild Wings before, and that will start at uh, 530 in the evening. And besides the super matches, they will also have a king of the table both men and women, separately, I hope, uh, with the men's uh, uh, king of the table uh, for the overall uh, being a $30 entry and the women's being a $20 entry. I say that is on the uh, 27th. Don't know of anything on the 30th, which, of course, is Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, however, the week after that, I will once again be you know, heading out to do uh, uh, some uh, uh, do some help, do some brackets, uh, that being at the uh, second annual Armageddon, uh, which Eli Kern and his folks are doing out in Morgantown, uh, West Virginia. A real bargain here, uh, 20 bucks an entry. Uh, what they are doing with that uh, is that uh, the men's classes, uh, they're not doing a separate amateur and pro. Everything's just open uh, and uh, with just four classes to hopefully you know, get the classes a little bit, uh, little bit bigger than they sometimes are when you have multiple classes. Uh, specifically, the men's classes will be 165, 190, 220, and 221 plus. Uh, women's classes at the moment are uh, open, but they're hoping to be able to have enough people, if they get enough women out, to do that as uh, as two classes. They also have something they're calling the first timers, uh, which strictly speaking is not first timer, but it's certainly people that are newer than what you can uh, you know qualify for as. Uh, as amateur, uh, specifically, they're saying if you have competed in three tournaments or fewer, uh, you would still qualify as a first timer, and that so that they will, uh, you know, will have. Uh, I believe that one is going to be uh, two classes splitting at uh, two hundred pounds, uh, and also they will have some cash payouts uh, for the uh, for a lot of, for the uh, open classes there as well. As I say, that once again is Morgantown, West Virginia on the 7th of December. A uh, week after that, uh, if you are anywhere within driving distance or in some cases even flying distance of Manchester, New Hampshire, we did have some people came in and uh, actually from Montana last year and 
combine it with a family vacation. Uh, but in Manchester, that evening of the four or the afternoon rather of the fourteenth is going to be the annual Granite Arms Christmas party uh, at the uh, workplace of Badger Drews, where they. Uh, Grand at Arms normally does their practicing. Uh, really fun time, lots of food, lots of tables. Uh, we usually end up running about you know ten tables or so. I may have my uh, sit down table there, you know as well. But uh, you know ten tables. I was, normally say ten tables, no waiting. Well, actually, we get such a crowd there. Occasionally, it's ten tables, and you do have to wait around a little bit uh, because uh, I think last year we had I want to say one hundred and six. Uh, pullers at that one or 106 people at the party. And so uh, you know, definitely want to get yourself to that, if at all possible, on the uh, on the 14th December. That's basically what I know for the rest of the uh, uh, the year in uh, at least in the Northeast. I did hear, I did see something, the Mac people were doing something uh, on the 21st and I got a hold of them and said, okay, where is that going to be? And it's actually going to be Ontario, which is uh, a little bit farther than I normally cover in this uh, these programs. However, if you're within you know shouting distance of Ontario, you can look that one up yourself. So, in short, I uh, hope you have a uh, have a good time. Great weather, at least here in eastern Pennsylvania, and I hope to see you at one or more of these events.